Hello and welcome, I'm Tyson. I decided to do another mud fossil video. I ran into this while I was out traveling the other day and so I wanted to show you. I got three transitions going on here that are really fascinating. I wanted to show you. Uh, I also want to support my new t-shirt, uh, Mud Fossil University, where geology is biology. So if you're a uh, Mud Fossil University student like I am, uh, have your shirt made. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get going on this mud fossil video behind me here, this tendon, I believe, plus a transition on top. And so uh, I come at this at a biblical perspective. Job chapter 41 of the Bible is where I come at this. Um, I believe that God took these dragons or wherever they might have been, they were slain and he formed the earth out of them. And that's why we're finding what we're finding. So that's the, the, the view I come at. I come at a biblical perspective. I believe that uh, I'm going to be held accountable, that there is a God, there is a creator. And that's one reason why this mud fossil thing isn't going to become really huge and the whole world's not going to come to it. Because what it does is it makes a person realize, guess what, there's a creator. So I'm going to be held accountable. That means he created me. And so that's why the whole world's not going to run to this. Because then they're going to be held accountable. So that I hope that makes sense. I personally believe when I die, I'm going to be held accountable. But I also believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins and that he's paid the price and that I don't have to worry about as long as I believe in him. So that's what I believe, and I'm going to go to Google Earth when I'm done here and show you some stuff where I'm at taking this video and what I believe is going on. These things are so big, they're hard to uh, imagine uh, the size of them. Um, that's why I'm having trouble trying to explain to you what's going on, because they're so big that I can't really figure out what's going on. I know they're body parts, but I don't know what body parts. So I'm going to try to explain a little bit here and move on with this video, because it takes up a lot of time. So. Uh, thank you, and I love the shirt. And Mud Fossil University, love you, Roger. You're doing a great job trying to bring the truth to the world, and so am I. I appreciate the subscribers, but that's not why I did this. I did this to bring the truth to people, nothing else. I'm not a social media guy at all, which you can probably tell. So, anyway, I'm going to move on with this, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. All right. Okay, I was pretty excited when we drove by this, me and Wise today. Got th I got a transition here, th uh, three stacked on top of each other. Really good chance to show you. You can see these layers in here. See those? Now, if you go up above it, there's another transition right there. And if you go above it, there's another one there. There's one there. One there. And this one here. And I'm going to try to get up on top of there to get close up of this because i seen red up there. i got a truck coming here. But I want to show you some of this other stuff first. They've taken and cutting this bank away to get this corner in. So this is what I kind of look for that gives me a really good chance to, 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 look at, to look at a cutaway view of something. And this is really a spectacular one right here. This is near a place where I lived. Me and my wife were going up this to a place called Sweet Creek Falls to take a look at some stuff. And we seen this and I came back to do this video because this is really amazing. Look at that in there. Look at that layering. This is a tendon, and then I got transition up on top. Now, I don't know how it was connected or laying here or whatever. I mean, I'm trying to figure out the body parts and the alone. But this is, it's not no rocks. Not like we've been taught. I learned the same things everybody else did about how geology and the earth was formed and I never used to believe what I'm doing right now. When I first when I first found Roger Spur, Mud Fossil University by accident, I thought, I'll be honest, I thought the guy was crazy. Roger, I'm sorry, but I thought you're nuts, man. But then you know what? I'm I, I study everything, you know, I study the giants, I study, you know, lost civilizations. I look at everything and so I looked at it and I knew what the Bible said about it. And so I got to researching it and I know a little bit about biology. I mean, I know where my hand is and my foot, but <laughs> uh, I started seeing what he was seeing. 
And then when I did start watching more of his videos to learn how to do it, then I found it on my own. Especially the first video I did where that rock in the creek and I found the arteries in it. That can't be denied. I mean, that's a 30, at least a 30 ton boulder set in there, a rock, and I can take you to it and hold your little hand and show you it. So, you can't explain that unless you explain it through mud fossils. Uh, and that's just the way it is. So, anyway, you got this here, and that there's the inner situn, I believe. All that round underneath the skin, like Roger talks about. You see it there? And it comes down the side. Really quite remarkable. And then it sets on top of this. So I'm going to try to get up there. This is really quite amazing. These transitions. Anyway, I want to show this transitions here on this one. You know, all these layering. Which is not from sediment. And how many thousands of sedimentary layers we got? That's a well. Then that don't match up to the earth being molten and all. There, it's so misleading. It doesn't make sense. We we're, and the thing is, we can get to the same information they have. It's not like everybody's a god and they're holding information back and that they have all the knowledge of the universe. That's bull crap. Anybody can piece this together if they just do a little critical thinking. I'm doing a lot of judging today, aren't I? <laughs> this is okay. So I'm gonna head up there get one more shot here before I head up there at this point. Got some red and black in there, which we all know what the red and black is. If you're a mud fossil student, that means blood. If you find yellow with sulfur, that means you got blood. Transitioning is what you have going on. Okay. Okay. Ooh, it's steep. There's these other two transitions. I made it up here. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's... I don't know how I'm going to get down. I guess I could always fall. But anyway, all right. Here's the other transition. <laughs> this is one I couldn't totally see from the road. Look at this. Look at that. Look at those layers in there. So there's the other transition up there. And then this one here starts right in there. Okay, and then you got that one up there. And I can't get up to it, but look at the difference in it. Totally different. They're all three different. I'm sure you can see that. So, so you got the one. You got this one in front of me. And then you got the one that I'm standing on. Right here. Boy, look at the red in there. Can you see that? I hope so. That's red. In that layer. Try to get a little bit different angle here of these last two transitions on top of the one I'm standing on. I don't know what body part this is. I do know it's biological. Every rock, every mountain, 
not the trees, not the brush, but the dirt, every rock, is biological. So you can walk out your front door, pick up a rock off the ground, even the concrete, because it has rock in it. That rock came from the earth, which means it's got mud fossils. So you can walk outside your front door, pick up any rock, and it's a mud fossil. Or part of a mud fossil. So, there you have it. Okay, I've, I've come around the corner here where I was just standing and get a shot of this second transition. The second one up, not the top one. And, uh, so you got the dragons that are the base of the earth that the, arms, worth, the earth is formed out of. Then you have the other stuff that's dead, that's fossilized like the giants and these other creatures that they're finding on top of the main core of the earth. So that's how I understand it. And that's how I kind of see it now. So I hope that helps. Anyway, as much as possible anyway. All right, so I'm gonna go home and I'm going to go to Google Earth and show you where I'm at on Google Earth and what I believe is going on here to the best of my knowledge. So, all right, thank you. Uh, okay, as I was heading back, I seen one thing I wanted to stop and show you before I go to Google Earth. I looked down and, you know, you got red in here. In these transition areas, you got red. You can see it right in there. That's, that's blood turning, transitioning. If I look down here on the ground, this is what I just found. Pitch black, like, sh like uh, shale. Look how it just crumbles. This is blood in its final stage. Look at that. Roger, if you, I, I know you know what this is, but it's laying here on the ground. This black shale looking rock. And it just crumbles up. This is blood. Look at this. Another rock's gray, gray with moss growing on. This stuff's crumbled down off of here. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, I'm about ready to go to Google Earth and show you where I'm finding all this mud fossil stuff out close to where I live. But before I did that, I wanted to show you, again, our new t-shirts we just had made. Uh, we just had one made for Roger, which we're sending to him. And uh, he'll have his Mud Fossil University, where geology is biology shirt pretty soon. So, alright, let's get started. Okay, I'm here on Google Earth. I'm going to show you where I'm finding this stuff and what I have going on. And uh, I'm in a place out of Oregon, and I'm going to take you right now, called Florence, Oregon. And I'll show you where I was today doing this video. Okay. Here's Florence, Oregon on the Oregon coast. Over here is the Willamette Valley. Eugene Springfield, up that way is Portland, Oregon. And I come out here. This is where I'm finding stuff. This is where I did some videos, devil's churning stuff. If you can see this right in here, see these humps? See that spot right in there? Right in here and right in here? That's where I've been finding this stuff with the devil's churn right along in here. And so what I've been... It's really hard to, to, to see what's going on where I live because we have so much timber, so much logging going on. So when they do all this logging, it leaves these square patches where it's really hard to tell the elevations and it's hard to see the topography because it looks like almost like the, the Army has a, a camouflage called digital. And this is almost like what it does. It makes it almost digitized where I can't really tell the elevations and I can't make out descriptions of things. So it's really hard for me to tell what's going on here in Oregon. I believe we're on the side or the top or the back of this Leviathan, whatever it is. You got these right here. There's some up towards Seedside and Astoria, these right in here. These outcroppings right here is what I've been looking at. Now I'm going to spin this around and show you where I was today. And where I've been doing my videos of these other mud fossil arteries and stuff that I'm finding. Okay, here's the Willamette Valley, here's Florence, here's the stuff I've been doing on the coast, and here's where I was today. Right here on the Sayusla River on this corner. I was standing right up here and the car was parked right here and that truck went by right here. This is where I was. I find these places where they cut the banks out, these cut banks, where they open it up where we can look inside and see what's going on. The other place where I found my, where I've been doing all the videos and everything is right here. 
right on my, this mountain right through here is where I've been doing those videos. This is where I've been finding that stuff right along this road line, right along this river. See these things coming down right here? This is where I'm finding all the mud fossil stuff. Everything's a mud fossil, so you know, just trying to find and explain it is what I'm having a problem doing. See some of this stuff in here? So that's where I'm at, right in here. So I'm in between the Willamette Valley, over here, and the Oregon coast. These are like 400 foot cliffs right here along the beach. Look at these bat, look at this stuff right here. See this? And I'm just right in here inland. Right over in here. So that I'm not very far away as the bird flies. So that's what I'm finding. Look at this stuff over here toward Yahats. See this? I don't know if it's the side, the back, or whatever it is, but that's why I'm finding all this stuff. And I found this in towards the Willamette Valley. See this right here? It's really hard for me to see what some of this stuff is. Other places on earth it's easier to see. See some of that fluting right there? See, science the world is, they're never going to figure out creation or the origin of man. Because they're never going to figure out the origin of information. And that origin of information is God himself. So if you leave out the equation of God, you're never going to have the answers. They can search the universe till they're blue in the face, and they're never going to have the answers because they don't have the origin of information. And we do. It's God himself. So I hope this helped to show you where I was and where I've been uh, uh, finding out, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm learning as you're learning, uh, like we all are through Roger's stuff and through what other people are doing like me and trying to bring the truth out. I thank you for subscribing, I really do. Um, it puts a lot of pressure on to do more videos and that's not really what I'm about. I just want the truth out there and I just want people to know that uh, what we've been taught and what we've learned is not true. And it, it's proven. You know, the academic world is never going to crap on themselves. They're never going to shut down the institutions. They're never going to take their books away. They're never going to say, okay, mud fossils are it. Mud Fossil University, he's figured out the origins of everything. We all need to flock to him. That's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. Man does not want to say that there's a God. And he wants to go through life without a God calling himself God. See, that's what all this is about. We elevate ourselves, we elevate ourselves above God, calling ourselves God. No God, I don't need you. I've got this. I'll handle it myself. And so that's what God gives us. Right now, everybody's running around doing what's right in their own eyes. I'm right. No, I'm right. No, I'm right. No, I'm right. There's no grounding. There's no absolutes no more. And that's what's going on. And I don't believe, I believe that Jesus Christ came to die for my sins. And that's how, through Him, through salvation, that's how I'm going to enter the kingdom of heaven. And I believe the book of Enoch, when it says that there was these uh, 200 angels that gave up their heavenly bodies and took on the forms of these dragons... And in Revelation chapter 12 of the Bible, it says there was a cosmic war, and Michael and the angels fought against these dragons, and I believe God made the earth out of these fallen, this war, and plus some other stuff. That's my own personal beliefs. Um, I guess we'll find out when we all die, won't we? And we're all going to get our chance. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I've been talking a lot. Um, I just, I'm like the rest of you, I'm tired of people pissing down my back and telling me it's raining. So, <laughs> all right. Well, have a great day, and um, hopefully I'll be doing some more uh, videos. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.